Welcome to the channel. My name is Grant Tommy. This is Straight Six Fan helping you build your hot rod and your confidence without a ton of money. Today we are um, we're going back to my roots. So if you don't know where I got the name Straight Six Fan from, well, it was actually my first vehicle, the vehicle I drove in high school and college, a 1995 Ford F-150 with the inline six, 300 cubic inch, 4.9 liter motor, five speed, yada yada yada. I sold that vehicle in April or May of 2008, and out of the blue, this is January 28th, 29th as I record this, I don't know when this is going to go up, um, anyway, uh, out of the blue, last week I get this email from the guy who bought my truck 13 years ago, he said he had found me through my, he found, he went back to his PayPal receipt, because I sold it on eBay, saw my name Straight Six Fan, put that in a search engine, and then found my YouTube channel. And, um, you know, ironically enough, the when I sold it, I was in my college town, and the, the county that I sold it to was the county that I live in now. I had no clue I was going to wind up being a resident of this county that I'm in right now, uh, back in 2008. In fact, we didn't move here until two years after I sold my truck. So he finds me, reaches out to me, and says he's actually ready to move on from the truck and um, wanted to know if I wanted to buy it back. So we are on our way up to uh, to join up with them, and I, I get to go see the, my first vehicle. So it's, it's crazy to think. I sold it with 199,250 miles on it, and uh, he said on the phone, uh, it has 233,000 on it, so in 13 years, 33,000 miles, I mean, that's not even 3,000 miles a year. Um, so, anyway, excited to go check it out. I thought I'd do a video about this. Again, I don't know when this is going up, because uh, this is kind of evergreen content that, um, you know, it might be deep into February before you guys are actually watching this, but uh, I'm excited to, uh, to see the old gal, see what shape she's in. Um, whether I buy it back or not, I don't know. Uh, it's that remains to be seen. I guess I'll have to wait till the end of the episode, or maybe an upcoming episode. I don't know. To figure that out. I do also want to apologize. We are shooting exclusively on the DJI Osmo Action Cam, so if the sound is bad on this episode, it's because I'm using the microphone on it. I do have an adapter for my external mic, but the first two times I've tried it, I've lost all my audio, so I didn't want to risk that again. I'm trying to travel light today, just use that. But anyway. Um, next time we fire this camera up, I will be, we will be looking at my truck. Those are like mud terrains almost. Yeah, well, again, farm truck. Yeah. I take it out, you know, you know, mom's got, or mom had, my brother's got it now, 89 acres out in eastern Kansas. So yeah, that rust is about the same as it was. Like I said, typical cab corners. Yeah. And a... And a front fender as well. Yeah. It's an all typical, that's yeah. truck rust. You know? Yep. Yeah, no, it's uh... still got the same radio and all in it you put in it. I mean, I really haven't changed much. Yep. I just I use it. I, drive it. I haven't. The problem is I haven't driven it in about a year. Yeah. And I got ready to get it back on the road again, and I was like, oh shit, couldn't get the start. So I put a starter in it, thinking it was a starter. Figured out it was the the cable. Cleaned the cables. Put a brand new battery in it. Now it literally has like a three week old starter and a one week old battery <laughs> yeah uh, it's, it's definitely in i mean yeah it's in better shape than the truck my parents have gotcha. I mean, theirs might have a little less rust but this one the interior and everything An exhaust with magnet float muffler I put on. Uh, it's already gone. Something sounds rough there. <laughs> Didn't even take the stickers off the back window. No, I said it, you know. Yeah, I mean, 
That that was always there. It just got yep. worse. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I see you replaced the shift shift knob. That was something I never. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> I think I was able to find one somewhere. Well, it's kind of like the other thing is you'll see some wiring laying over there in the passenger floorboard. Uh huh. That is the complete. There are two pigtails under the hood. Yeah, this will help. Yeah, I see what you mean how soft that's. Yeah. That's yeah. real soft. Yeah, it's so. soft. They work, but you can tell you don't have all four wheels. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't even know if you have two. Well, you probably <laughs> have two, yeah. Well, that's the whole the whole design of those is to give you... You can lose half of the circuit still yeah. it breaks. Yeah. So, but yeah. All right, well, well, the Pioneer speakers are still in. Let's see here. Clutch is uh, stiffer than I remember, but yeah, there's like next to no brakes. Which, of course, if I was gonna own something, it would have no brakes, right? <laughs> and here's where I realized I should have scraped the window before I backed in and out of this. All right, so I record this part now. A uh, whole week later, it's uh, Tuesday, February 2nd now. Um, I thought I was recording myself on the drive home, kind of recapping what I saw, uh, but somehow I had switched my DJI Osmo action cam over to uh, Snapshot, so I was taking pictures of myself, and I've realized that while I was driving. And, um, there were a lot of other things that went on over this lunch break last Tuesday, so I won't get into that, but I just realized, focus on driving, just get home, Grant. <laughs> so that's what I did. So here we are recapping what I saw last Tuesday, and well, as you guys saw on the footage, it's rough. And, um, you know, so seeing it with my own eyes, especially with the brake problems, um, for the price he was asking, I was still willing to walk away from it. Um, just because I don't have space around these parts to store my truck and um, so I came up with one other idea of where how I might be able to get it back in we'll say the family possession um, and so I guess the advantage I have of a week's different time here was on Saturday uh, we actually had Tommy family Christmas um, <laughs> we had to keep pushing it off and off because of exposures and things like that but Anyway, kind of uh, took the footage down with me, reviewed it with my, my mom and my pops, because while it was my first high school um, vehicle, it was actually my dad's first company truck for the construction company that he worked for. So he basically had that truck since it was brand new. Um, so the Tommy family is kind of first owner. Anyway, so I got a chance to pitch it to the, to the folks over the weekend, and well... I guess this is where you're just gonna have to stay tuned to Straight Six Fan to figure out how this story ends up. Otherwise, guys, if 
you like my content, I would highly recommend you go check out one of these two videos. Otherwise, like, comment, share, subscribe. I don't care which one you do. As long as you do one, it really helps the channel out. That's going to do it for this episode. Till next time, peace out.